Disclaimer. Some people call quarks quarks or quarks. For this video, I shall call them quacks. Why? Because I find it funny. Let's begin. Quarks are weird. They make up some particles that were thought to be fundamental, like protons and neutrons. And one of the quacks is called a strange quack. As many more particles were being discovered, some hadrons decayed quickly through strong interaction, and some decayed slowly through weak interactions. This was very strange, so they called this property the strangeness of a particle. This led to Murray Gelman and Kazuhiko Nishijima to create the Gelman Nishijima formula in the 1950s. However, even with this, it was still unclear, implying they expected it to make any sense. Gelman and Yuval Neiman created a system of ordering in the 1960s called the Eightfold Way, named after the principle of Buddhism of the same name. With this, they predicted the quack model, including the up, down, and strange quacks. The others hadn't been thought of yet. The up and down carried the isospin necessary for the equation, and the strange quack carried the strangeness. This meant that there weren't an insane number of particles being named left and right, as they were just a combination of the quacks. Although this was theorised in 1964 by Gelman and George Zweig, the proof only came in 1968 from the Stanford Linear Accelerator Centre, or SLAC. SLAC used deep inelastic scattering, i.e. they shot electrons at protons, which discovered three more fundamental particles. These were the quacks. Thank you for listening. Check out Tutorimations for more- Oh no. Oh sweet lord, no!